Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another video review of the S4 Revolution ROM for Galaxy S3. Yes, I know I have made a lot of videos regarding this ROM. It's because it's a really, really awesome ROM. It works uh, flawlessly and uh, yeah, that is it. I use this ROM as my daily driver a lot whenever I'm going outside. So it's really a great ROM. So let's get to the ROM now. Okay, first of all, this is the V10. So it is the latest version. Uh, V10 is like the. It has moved on to 4.3 base build. No three uh, goodies and things like that. It's pretty awesome. Uh, it does have my magazine first thing which I want to talk to you about. It does have my magazine from the Note 3 launcher if you swipe up. Uh, most ROMs do have this. Uh, most of the newer 4.3 based uh, stock ROMs do have this feature. I failed to mention that in my other video reviews. Also the Glamorous 4 has it. Smartphone Revolution ROM also has it. So sorry for that. Now uh, what makes this ROM special? Okay, uh, The developer puts it like this. This ROM has all the best features from S Note 3 and S4. Uh, it's not a ROM for free, free RAM, bug free usage or something like that. He straight away says that. And I respect it because he doesn't want you to believe that this ROM is the bug free. It doesn't have anything to anything wrong. Well, first of all, it is based on 4.3, which well, I have said this enough. Uh, it's one of the most bugged uh, stock firmware which a big company like Samsung have released onto for S3 so that's just uh, not good so uh, but as I've said the developers have made it more usable with a lot of modification with a lot of um, well it does take work so yeah what about this ROM it has all the features of S3 uh, Note, th Note 3 most of the features of Note 3 a uh, lot of apps ported from Note 3 so as you can see all the apps are here uh, all these are similar to Note 3 uh, well the 4.3 uh, release for S3 does have a lot of um, apps updated uh, let's see all of these are working uh, with the Glamour S4 one problem I had was the S Health app uh, crashing all the time now this one works so it's a good thing uh, what else? The My Files is always a delight to have. This one is the Note 3 interface with all the sectioned things. It's really good. Um, sorry. Uh, Galaxy Plus. Okay, these are available. Flipboard is available. I guess the My Magazine app is actually a extended Flipboard uh, app, which has a which has a different theme. So um, yeah, that is it. What else should I talk about the ROM? Okay, uh, it does have an app called Morning, which is, I guess, is a news come. Uh, well, it is an alarm time app. So that is there. The biggest thing I would like to show you guys is that the smart function, like smart pause and smart uh, scroll, does work, uh, as in Glamorous 4. I guess Glamorous 4 came out one day before this ROM. So that makes uh, the Glamour S4 ROM the first to implement that. It does work. It is really awesome. It uh, well, I I love features like this. So it was an S4 feature. Even the Samsung guys couldn't port it to S3. So that's awesome. The developers have did it. First thing you'll notice from the settings menu is that the layout is changed. This is not the S4 styled layout. It does have uh, different things. Uh, tethering it was supposed to be somewhere else a location service was supposed to be in general I guess uh, there it, this is different uh, I the first thing I noticed is that that thing this was uh, below this settings so yeah there has been a lot of changes I guess this is the original note 3 style um, settings menu so that's pretty neat uh, uh, this I, I love this function actually if uh, the new layout of settings is something you uh, don't want like uh, it's not something you can get accustomed to just search for whatever setting you need so you don't need to explore everything uh, being a node 3 setting it does have S Pen features I don't know if you can use a S Pen from Note or not, Note 2 or Note 3 with the phone I don't know uh, air gestures 
uh, I don't think air, air gauge just doesn't work actually uh, but it's there it gives you something to use quick glance uh, is reach towards your device to see important information in class it's something from the s4 also air browse air jump air call accept I don't think all of these uh, features actually work but um, Mm, I don't know. This is for the uh, pen. Air, air command is for the pen, S Pen. So motions would uh, just work. It's available in the S3 also. Smart direct call, smart alert, um, zoom, browse an image, mute. All of these works. Smart screen. This is where the other options are like smart pause and smart scroll. It does work. I have demonstrated it in the um, glamorous for video. Do check that out. Uh, for demonstration on this working it does work okay so I'm not going to waste much time on that uh, increased touch sensitivity is something which well I do find uh, useful palm motion is for capturing screen and mute and pause so yeah general settings has a lot of function now it does it has all the account information previously it was an accounts tab so yeah uh, I guess that much is good let me show you guys the uh, functionality. It does have white uh, S style keyboard, S, uh, Samsung keyboard. So something you might have to uh, know. So let me see. Uh, I want smart functions. Just type smart. You have all the options related to smart options. So I really like the uh, search functionality of this. Uh, what else? There are there is a, a small bug in this. You can see uh, this status bar icon this what is this this is actually supposed to be the quick glance eye uh, well not the quick glance the uh, smart smart uh, glance I guess which was it I am going to look the smart stay the smart stay icon that is an eye icon I don't know why this is this one it is uh, kind of uh, uh, different so yeah if you don't want it just disable smart stay and that will go away but if you want, can use the uh, Wanum Light Wanum Exposed uh, framework, then you can just disable the icon there and still use this option. So, pretty neat function. So, yeah, that much is it about the ROM. There's nothing too much, and the developer does put it this way. It is not a ROM if you want the highest speed, the most RAM usage, or bug free ROM. It is a ROM to accept its features and try out its features and if you can live with these uh, it can be a daily driver I have used this as my daily driver and the only problem I get are few real 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 occasional uh, really rare uh, kind of slowdowns which a restart would do um, so I don't mind that at all so yeah I guess that is it about the ROM did I miss anything I'll show you guys the uh, aroma package also because it does give you a lot of options the fit out animation so here is the aroma package which is fantasy rom well he's uh, the rax the developer rax dogs uh, he is his first uh, rom I guess was fantasy rom it was a pretty good rom I saw so here it is the uh, information about s4 revolution v10 it was first released in beta version and then well uh, the rom didn't have too much of a bug so he just ch changed it to the normal version so uh, yeah it is well you may not be able to see this but it is exactly ugmj ufmj9 uh, i'm not sure about that 4.3 from jelly beans author is rags dog uh, date 25th one day after the uh, grammar is for now you do have a few uh, sets of terms and conditions no one reads that okay now these are the change log from the last version the last version I guess I reviewed was the v7 I'm not sure but yeah it does have light effect I didn't show you guys but you know how it works from the 4.2 ROM right so it has a light effect in ink effect on the lock stream with the ripple effect improved audio I'll show you guys that uh, menu extended you did see that added ROM version ROM dev yeah in the this is setting uh, imp uh, improved stability RAM management cannot restore Samsung data fixed all of these are now working or whatever it does seem to work so optical reader in aroma removed optical reader you don't need that I guess it does have a few problems um, 
Yeah, uh, as for Revolution V9.1 was a, uh, a predecessor to 9, predecessor to 10. So you can see that change log also from here. So it does have a lot of change log. It did change a lot. So yeah, now let's select next EFS backup. No, this one, yeah, this is EFS backup or not. I have a EFS backup already, so I'm not doing it. Do do that uh, EFS backup if you are not sure about the modem and things like that. It does have a modem selector. Uh, add on apps and five camera and get gallery. This is something which I would love to have in any ROM because uh, you have the option to select not five uh, Nexus five camera and gallery rather than just forcing you to use it. That's pretty neat. All share gameplay, group play. You have all that option too. Now blockware. These are the Samsung apps which you may or may not want if. I was the one using the ROM, I would select everything because this is a Samsung stock ROM, so I want everything. So yeah, you have all these options, it does even has support for case, Samsung case, LCD test, everything, luminous dots, everything like this, pretty good. Let's see, G apps, you have the options to select what all G apps you need, just select all of them to avoid any problems. These are widgets, uh, only dial widgets is ticked off, everything would be good. As travel, everything is there, pretty good features to have. So these are the Samsung hub features, that's the APK files. You even can have game hub, help hub, music hub and video hub installed from the get go. So you don't have to download them later on. Next, now this is the uh, modem selection page. You can install AMG4 modem. Or you can just select don't install any modem and just move on so that there won't, there won't be any problems so that's there. So now you have a kernel selection you have stock uh, UFMK2 which is the Chinese uh, release of 4.3 kernel. I hear that that is a better uh, version than the UK or Ireland version so yeah uh, that's one good uh, stock kernel. You do have all these options for kernel also. You have Boyfla Devil 2, Boyfla kernel V5, this is beta 2, uh, Light GX kernel, which is one of my favorite kernels for stock ROM, Adam kernel also. So, yeah, you have all these options. I'm going to select the stock kernel only. Now we have insane volume hack. That's what the uh, volume tweak is. You, you can either have huge volume, like it, it will just fill up entire room. Or you can have clear audio like the stock Samsung one. I'm, I, I'm not a huge fan of a huge audio, huge volume. So I'm just going to select no. You have two options here, no3 browser and S3 stock browser. So uh, someone in the forum did say that the smart scroll and things like that wasn't working with S3 browser. So it would be better to take no3 browser. Hey, it's newer. It has a lot more features. So just don't take the no3 browser. Next. Now these are the Note 3 apps and and plus support is a 4.3 one. Uh, Bloomberg Plus is something of a news app with stock uh, information also. Flipboard again pretty awesome. Morning is the app which I showed you guys. So yeah, that is it for the customization options. Now just uh, select next for installation. I'll not install this because so here is the boot animation for Samsung which is the uh, basic stock boot animation which is nothing just nothing to do with anything flashy it just gives what phone this is from this is samsung phone deal with it so yeah so i guess that is it about the rom so yeah the best thing about this is the new settings menu with a search function which I really really love and all the functions does work. Uh, even though the, he, the developer says that this is not a bug, uh, it's a ROM without any bugs, I didn't find many bugs. I did have occasional GFs crash after uh, when using it previously. So yeah, that you have to deal with it because it is a custom ROM until a uh, 4.3 release from Samsung, re-release from Samsung comes along. Uh, these are the best bet you have with a 4.3 stock ROM. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the S4 Revolution ROM. So uh, please uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like and share the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time.